Hi, I'm Jason Matthews with Matthews Painting Company in Warsaw, Indiana. We're continuing our tutorial videos for all of our new employees who are hired here as we train them to become professional painters. Today we're going to talk about cutting in. Cutting in is simply anytime you're using a brush, brushing in wall paint against a piece of trim or along a ceiling line. There's seven basic things we like to teach and some of these will not be as important as you become more experienced. But our first one is how you hold a brush. We simply just come down here and hold the brush at the rim on the metal with four fingers on one side and a thumb on the other with a handle on top, not underneath you. The, the handle comes on top of your hand. Second is breathing. If you're breathing hard and fast, your arm rises and falls with your breathing. And so many times we try to focus and tell our new painters that they may have to hold their breath for three to five seconds, or at least just be on the exhale or inhale as they're brushing in a straight line. The height. If we're painting way up here along the ceiling, we're apt to be a lot more shaky because we're fully extended out. And so a proper height would be, if this was a ceiling line about eight foot high, this would be about the height I want to be on a ladder so that I'm not reaching really high. I'm still tucked in, my elbow's still bent, and I'm at an angle where I can at least see up into that ceiling line. I'm not too high, not too low. So the height is very important. If I'm too high, I'll get paint up on my ceiling that I won't even see until I get down off of my ladder. Fourth is the position. We talk about position more if this was a piece of vertical trim. We don't want to be standing straight on because we won't be able to see one if we're hitting the trim with our wall paint, which would require a lot of excessive cleanup, but also some stain trim has a little bit of a gap that we need to get behind with the paint. We like to stand a little bit at a 45 degree angle about right here when we're painting along trim. The movement's important. We try to not really move the wrist. We try not to move the elbow at first when we're training. We really just try to bend at the core, bend at the hips if we're doing a horizontal line or a natural fall down at the hips if we're painting a vertical line. Six is where to look on the brush. Now this changes a little bit as you get experienced, but what we like to teach is where to look is about a half inch into these bristles right here. So as we are released, as we are painting against a line like so, we're not looking here, we're not looking ahead of ourselves yet as we're learning. We're looking about a half inch into these bristles right there. Also, number seven was the angle of your brush. This should be about the angle of your brush. You should have a slight little triangle here as you're learning how to brush straight lines. You do not want your brush down like this as you're trying to brush. You do not want to be like this trying to use the tip or even like this. This right here would be the proper angle. Again, there's your slight little triangle we're creating and I'm bending at the hip right now. We will do that on a vertical surface where I am looking is a half inch down into the brush. That's where my paint is going to be releasing its line. And if you notice, there is my small triangle rather than being out here or using a tip or doing this, which are all wrong methods.